Well, since we had the technology introduced, um, I've been learning a lot with the kids. And uh, one thing that we're doing is right away in the classroom, we're integrating the technology a little bit more and it's giving me an avenue to get feedback much more quickly from kids from when they walk in, they do a launch question and I can see right away and get a good temperature of where everybody's at. Um, it also has given me an avenue for a way for kids to have a final work product and they, it can now be something done digitally and they can submit it to me and right away I can see where they're at. And they're also a little more um, open to going back and changing and revising things. From the second they have a seat and they start their work, um, a question often is asked to them in science and I just get a running list of what their responses are. If you hear something that someone shared that you think is fantastic, you may certainly add it to your graphic organizer. What did you put for volume? From a science standpoint, we're always coming back to the idea of how is my work similar to other scientists or are there any discrepancies? And the technology has given us a very quick and efficient avenue just for them to compare their work with each other. Today we're going to be doing some materials testing. So materials testing is when a scientist and engineer takes different types of matter and they do some tests with them to see what matter, what material, what object or liquid would be best for the job that we're going to do. I do like having the traditional blend too because there is, from my perspective, nothing that can also substitute like a real life experience. So if I'm actually going through the process of using a, a scale to find the mass of something, there's value in that. Um, also, I think when we're blending the technology and paper and pencil, you know, we're turning on different parts of the brain. I think some kids need to draw pictures, some kids need to write it out, some kids need to type it out. And so that's where we've really been trying to pull all those pieces together so we can turn on the most parts of the brains for our kids. On this paper, you see where it says reflection? Yeah. One, two, and three are your homework. The most amazing thing about the about the one-to-one -one technology, I think, is the communication piece between um, myself and my students. Feel much more connected to my students. It's also allowed us just to try out some new things. And I, I'm a science teacher and a science person, so I think that kind of embodies what science is: is we we try out something new in a technology platform and kind of look at it much more from a design cycle process of did it work, did it not work, what can we improve on, and I think that just kind of naturally supplements what we're doing in science.